Hey guys, before we start, here's a quick word from our friend and our hopefully soon to be sponsor. Hey guys, if you want some personal fitness from a trained, certified personal trainer, hit up my friend John, who works at Lifetime Fitness at Bay Area near Baybrook. If you want to follow him and see what he's about, check out his social media tag, which is at John underscore from the gym. He is a great guy who's knowledgeable about his craft and loves what he does. So please check him out. Thank you. All right, you guys. So that's at John underscore from the gym. Remember to hit him up for some personal training. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the second part of the podcast. I'm here with King Philip, Johnny Bravo, and Ricardo the Champ. Uh, this is G here, giving you the first intro. But uh, <laughs> today, our three main topics we're going to be focusing on is uh, our embarrassing stories, whether it be us or people we know. I don't know. What were the other two? Oh, it was oh, like, is, is college, college worth it? it? Is college worth it? And is it STEAM or STEM? And whether we go off on tangents or not, but those are the three ones we're going to be focusing on. So let's start off with whether it is STEM or STEAM. That's a relevant topic right now. So what do you guys think? Yeah, give them the A. What, what first, first off, is it, is it, is it, is it, what does STEM and STEAM stand for, you guys? STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, I think. And STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. And the whole point of having the art in it is... Honestly, I don't know why they're doing it. <laughs> it's to give art... Who brought it up? I guess it's because design is an important aspect of, you know, the science fields and the math field. And they want to emphasize that, I guess, or to attract people that might have an artistic side to them. They might not understand, like, science and mathematics. As that, being that's, that's what I want to go with, because, like, if you look at how, it, like, in the beginning of, like, since, like, a whole college and, like, how, like, certain programs are, art has always been the one that people, like, make fun of, or it's, like, the butt of the joke, you know? Like, oh, are you an art major? You can't do nothing with I mean, I've never made fun of art, but... I'm just saying... I'm, I'm an art guy. Right, I'm just saying, but most people don't but, appreciate it or yeah. don't see the value of it. Or... No, I think it's most people don't... No, it's also it's because they cause oh, philosophy. Because many, because many people think they're different. They're separate. Like the science and like logic stuff goes on this side, and the artistic and like expressive side on the other side. But there's like a lot of overlap in like uh, fields like engineering or like science. You you can do a lot of creative stuff and uh, artistic stuff in those fields. Oh, I don't believe in art major. I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you should go to school so, for art. That's but, just but something you think, that you're so embedded with. What, what my thing is, I think this is their chance to like, oh, so for those people struggling in the art major, like they don't really work the job they want, they're probably doing like waiting tables or stuff like that. They could like possibly like, oh, this is your chance to be like involved with this other group. Like, oh, here, join the STEM, STEM majors. That way you can be part and have jobs. And like, this is the way of like giving them a chance, you know, that's my, that's my take on it, you know? I say it's important. Art is also important. You know, if you look at all the buildings and look at the prehistoric times, art was a big factor back in the day. Now it's changed because our like philosophy is like, oh, only engineering and mathematics and science are important. We stop looking at art. But there's still a good amount of people out there who appreciate art and see the value of it. So that's like the reason why it's like a thing now. Yeah, but like those people that go, f- like have an art major, who go for art as a major, mm-hmm. they're not going to do anything with that. See, because we don't have the scope for it. We don't because have- we don't need it. Yeah, because we always say, look, engineer, we say the engineers to do the drawings and everything. But if you want to make something look pretty or looks like look fancy yeah, like with the engineering yeah. aspect, you could have someone to do the art, like, art and have the engineer look at it also. So they the can both. That's the thing. It should what? be like a minor. No, the thing is, an engineer it's is, a complementary is mm-hmm. in a sense, also an artist because they design their own thing. They know how it works, how, how it should work. And they're going to incorporate the art into it. So here's my question. Can you say that would about it, welders too? These... Yeah. And artists, they're just, you know, well, oh, paint okay. this, paint that. <laughs> but so do, do these people who do who do engineering and welding, and do these when they go through their degrees or programs, do they take certain art classes that, that are talking no, about art history or anything? Mm, so one. The, so one, but that doesn't really go into the whole aspect of mm. art, right? Of a whole thing of like cubism and stuff like that. Well, that's... See, that's... That's a... Because that's part of art. And so right, but no one like, talks about it and it goes unnoticed. I feel like if you want to get an art major, that's more like for a hobby thing. Yeah, no. $40,000. Yeah. See, $40,000. But, but, but here's the that. thing, though. Yeah, it is. Cause, okay, or, or, you're not going to do anything with an art major. Now. Or if anything, or the ever. art major should cost more. 
I mean, less, less, less. No, less. You can call. Okay, so like you were saying that now, but this it's because the times have changed. If you look back in Italy back in the day. Art was so like valuable because no one else could do it. Only certain people can make art. Like they things. didn't pay to go to college. No, they didn't. But they did go to school. Yeah, they went to some type of like drawing school. But if it, that doesn't matter, back then people value certain things that they couldn't do, couldn't make, or were rare. So they're like, oh wow, it's amazing. I'll pay top dollar for it. It's it's cool. It's unique. So nowadays people don't value that anymore because so many people can do it now. Not, well, true. Okay, and then it doesn't take much the case. Strength. If that's the case, then you have to start asking, cheap. what's the problem? What's the problem with the people not realizing that art major isn't a I, career that you should follow? Honest, is there even a such thing as like an art major? Like yeah, straight there, up? Is, there is art major. Because yeah. I'm aware it's such of... such a broad subject. Yeah, I'm aware of graphic designing and um, what else? Sculpting, sculpture, that's something else. But I haven't heard of like a, like a generic art major. There's an art major, but I minor in graphic design. There's art well, studies. See, gra- like that kind of thing, like graphic designing is relevant now. That should be, that is a major. Wait, so, yeah. the thing, there's a degree for film appreciation and film and all that. Should that not be valued as a, also another thing? No, either? we have to no. be realistic. I'm just saying though, because like, that. if you're going to knock down I'm art, then you're going to knock down film, you're going to knock down this, knock down that. See, as I'm saying, like those I get, but art is the only one that's like different from the rest. Like it actually has some people that are creative. Because mm. like me, I can't draw for like uh, nothing, you know? I don't believe. But you're good at something that, that, it, that is uh, in the arc of art. No, because like that's not, my, <laughs> that's not my focus and that's not what I'm going for. The body is art. Yeah. What you do no. with your body is art. Working out, making, yeah. sculpting oh, your uh, body You can appreciate it, but that's not an art. Those. That's just... Then a whole different. That's right. That's how you're sculpting living. your body. You're you're showing off what you just worked hard for. But that's uh, just healthy living. No, but no, it's not. There's also yeah. dancing. What do you call them? Uh, What's the other one? With the body you know, like, extreme that's healthy. Not a healthy extreme healthy living. That's <laughs> not extreme healthy living. <laughs> 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 they they like, some like, of them don't. Yeah, we'll just do it. Gymnastics. Or I don't know. I don't know. But if you see, yes, you're right. But if you can draw that body to a perfect scale or something like that, none of these people that do that type of degree know that. There are computers that do it automatically. True, but I'm just saying though. Yeah, but who programmed that? Yeah, exactly. To have an artistic who's, mind to be no, yeah, who's original? Yeah, yeah, but who's imaginative? No side of things. No. <laughs> <laughs> but whose original drawings and sketches do they look at to like describe, like depend? Oh, what is this? What is that? Is someone had to do it originally for them to look at it? Yeah, but it there was always an original sketch. Because engineers can do that too. It's like there's, there's, no, no, there's no. Yeah, but engineers looked at what? Okay, so you go to you go to a class. They talk about design and like architecture. They show you certain things like sketches. Those sketches had to come from someone, right? They didn't just make it out of the computer. Engineer. No, someone made it before. Now you people now engineers is, look at that, and learn from it, and learn how wait, to do wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. No, because sometimes the the way something looks is, uh, it's because it has to work a certain way. So in other words, the the body, the form follows the function. For example, the iPhone. You know how it has that notch thing? Mm-hmm. That thing came to be just because it looked a certain way. It's because the hardware demanded it to have it. So it's the same thing with other um, products or services. They have artistic features. They don't usually come. They don't usually come from. No, they don't. Okay, right, but they they are because of the functionality of the thing not because True. it has to look a certain way mm-hmm. so it's a consequence of the functionality or like the rockets that uh, like they go off to space they don't look that way because they look cool they look like that because they have to look like that in order for them to cross the the atmosphere and such mm-hmm. i'm mean, sorry am i interrupting you guys or we were yeah, listening phone by the though. mic and and I was telling him, what if it vibrations on? It just explodes in my, <laughs> in my ears. <laughs> I guess. But, okay, I mean, I, I'm still stuck on the whole, like, someone had to make it first. Like, some art pieces like that. There was an original for it. Like, someone had to make it. Okay, so the original specifics, art, specifics. the original art, original art, like art, art, like, okay, so someone made the, the Sixteen Chapel and all those, like, famous architectural buildings. That's architecture. That's part of that's si- art. civil engineering. That's art. That's Am I wrong? Their own thing, architecture. And but that's under engineering, technically, civil yes. engineering. Yes. So as I'm saying, some, did a machine make that? No, someone at the time, they didn't know much, but you took the time, did looked at something, and made the drawing. So he, without, so with college or no college experience, made that. Should that person be treated, his, his knack or the his... The guy that built it was an architect. 
Okay, first. Same. An architect first, artist, artist second. Okay, so those go hand in hand. And so he, what he did was a civil engineer, but also with a little hint of art, uh, art appreciation and art, artistic same. thing. Same. What's your point? I'm saying is that, <laughs> is that I can see I can see why people are trying to bring it back as another important like core thing, yeah. like core thing. Because at one point in time, it was like valued as equally of a doctor or okay. an engineer. Does uh, the cosmetology, performance arts, and all that also falls under art? Fine art. It, it did. I, I said all. Of the, okay, minus the Does cosmeto- that cosmetology. 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 No. Is that included? Because that was back then, like a like if you're a blacksmith or if you're like oh that's gonna get your yeah, job. Connect, wait, 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 I'm okay. connecting it to steam. That's well, not steam. Well, steam. I don't. I don't count cosmetology as steam. Steam but has it's under art. There's. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Steam, steam has uh, yeah. science, technology, engineering, um, art, and mathematics, or STEM, whatever, without the art. Mm-hmm. A math guy doesn't need technology all the time, but he mm-hmm. still goes under uh, STEM. Mm-hmm. The same thing can be said about STEAM. Like, somebody can be artistic, but doesn't mean he needs to be um, in mathematics or technology. Right, but this, what are you saying is that like someone that's a cosmetology major can like go look at an art piece and like say oh yeah i know how the lines in the back no, of the no, white no, space no, look see, like no, no it's not going to be like no, that yeah no you know that's his own thing you know but someone who is a civil engineer could look at that because they know what they're looking I, at. I guess my point is like an engineer can be artistic but like an art major cannot be an engineer like you're going they, one way the, no, an, art, an art major no. can be an engineer not an engineer but like of some type like civil, the closest thing an art major can get is civil engineer well then it, he wouldn't be an artist buildings, architecture and stuff like that it is. like he would be an engineer an engineer first then an artist an artist can, can be super uh, but can someone that likes art also like jump into that field and yeah, try yeah but it? he wouldn't be an artist first then not I guess I'd do some engineering too cause it's a whole it's a different way. I'll give you a good example of that an artist that's struggling becomes an engineer an artist is struggling suddenly because <laughs> well, an artist I, isn't struggling <laughs> becomes a civil engineer because it's something that relates to his field closely in but a then way he would it be an engineer first but yeah he was an artist first no he, an engineer no like in terms of uh, like if you were to apply to a job or like be introduced to yourself you wouldn't say I'm an art oh by the way I'm also an engineer no it would be engineer first. yeah because we value that more now it is more valuable now we value that it was back then. Engineers were way more important than artists, even though you might think that it wasn't. An artist was. It was more on valuable. the same level. No, they weren't. Yes. No. Yes. Because when the Roman, um, do you guys know about the aqueducts and everything? Go ahead. <laughs> you remember the the aqueducts? Uh, yes, I know the aqueducts. Uh, who built? Have you seen the mighty ducks? Shut up. Here's where, here's where we're going. <laughs> and as grasshopper. <laughs> as grasshopper. Anyway, <laughs> I understand because you feel that way that oh it is not value, but I will. it's still equal as a engineer. It's not equal. It is equal. How the fuck is it gonna? Oh, sorry. How the hell? How the hell? I don't care. Care. <laughs> Is it gonna I just be equal? Just lost three subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> how is it gonna be equal? One requires just way like, more training, way more advanced stuff than an artist. Can you draw a perfect circle? Most artists can't. They Can need you? a tool. Can you? You know, they're not just built exactly. with magical fingers. Some people are. No, an yes. artist. Some people have a knack for. It. That's what you're saying. You have a knack for it. You Some people talent. are really good at math when they're young. Okay, but you can be trained. So yeah, you can. But you drive. It's the same thing. If as you like can, athletes. then what's Some the point of art school? Some athletes do it. Some athletes practice, practice, practice for it. But they will both get paid the same. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, there's no discrepancy in that. Like, both are like one is talent, one is training. Yeah, I don't think there's such thing as talent. I think it's just because you don't have talent. Every, I feel like every, every, everything is learned. It's art, a physical trait, or a mental one? I think it's a... You can't choose both. Mental one. Mental. Then it doesn't matter if he was born with one leg or two legs or whatever. Because they can mentally, mentally, they can, mentally... Mentally, you, one person can overcome. Mentally, one person can But is he born artistic mentally? I it's, think it's a little bit of both. This has strayed from the topic of Stammerstein. That's the point of a podcast to talk about this. To stray from the topic? Yeah. Okay, so what is, what, do you believe art should be put into the whole STEM <laughs> major, a STEM major? Uh, no. Okay. I feel like it shouldn't because, yes, there's some art it's in implied. what engineers like... do, but the whole, you know, like, dance, oh. stuff like that, it's but, not, yeah. it's not part of, it's not related to technology, to mathematics, it's not related. 
I, but it all includes design. It's because well, like I, I said, that's a part of. It's there's implied. There's art. It's implied. In there's art in engineering, but there's no engineering art, and art. Should not be part of engineering you know, STEM. Okay, so when? How does that work? What do you mean? People who don't know how See, STEM and STEAM works. It's, it's. I think the whole point of having STEAM is so that they get rid of that stereotype that engineers and scientific people and you know mathematicians are not creative or artistic. Do you think it's a whole plot to get women into engineering? Because I mean, there there Whoa. has there has been a push yeah. to yes. get women into engineering. Maybe that's just. I don't think it's a primary what? reason, but maybe there's a push to get. Women yeah, because you're not saying like nowadays when you think of engineer, right? when you look at major engineering companies like I guess say aer- like aerospace, Boeing, Boeing, NASA. If you look at the statistic, it's majority man based, yes. and female based. That, yes. So that's why he's saying it could be like a changing the agenda, changing the you know. The There's push. a lot of bad stories from NASA from women. Well, hit, hidden some, figures. Some that I've seen. You know, hidden figures is a good example of that. Well, because I don't want to say, uh, men tend to go into more like. They do, yeah. Yeah, it just but happens. like, isn't that sexist? <laughs> it's just true. <laughs> it's just fact. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, just leave it to the public decide. <laughs> you guys decide. In fact, I, we're it's here. Sex crucify him. Do it. <laughs> there's some. There's some. There's some place God. in Europe where they try to. Uh, there's oh, okay. a pl- there's a place <laughs> in Europe where they try to do <laughs> have a lot of programs that like encourage equality between the genders. What was that one study where they had babies decide to play like they give a baby an option to play between a toy truck and a doll. And boys would naturally gravitate yeah, towards just trucks, how and we girls would think. gravitate towards dolls. And besides, there's more women in like the medical field, yeah, like that, nursing, that, that nursing. Help. That's enough. What do you well, mean? Does it help? They make the more medical money. field is not majority women. It's mm, it's half and half. Cause nursing. majority of doctors are men, while majority of uh, nurses are female. So it's a half half situation. Okay, nursing. Kind of kind of sad that that what's important, what you we, what we consider important, you know, doctors, is where the guys are. Yeah, because like I said, because because back in the day, what did you just say? Back in the day, at one point, doctors were only male because that's how it was at a certain point. Now we're slowly changing into that with female doctors, female engineers. It will take time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I mean, I believe it should be STEM, not STEAM. I feel like it's I, a better fit. It's just to, it's just like I said. Come, the only reason they're doing the A is to get rid of that stereotype. But it's gonna be there either way, cause people people that don't are not familiar with engineering, science, and whatever. They don't even know about STEM. Exactly. So yeah. for the target audience would be someone that would already know what it's yeah, for. for yeah, people it would, so it would be useless. So if that's the case, that's someone can point with arguments really. If that's the case, someone that's really interested in art and has a passion for art, they had to force themselves to go into another career they don't like to get to make a living. Here's the thing, though. People that's everyone. No, <laughs> some people have a passion for engineering. Some people have a passion for being a doctor. Some people have a passion to be an officer yes. or some type of blue collar job. Yes, but someone who has a passion to be an artist or something cannot ha- survive in this world because we don't value it. Because and we don't have a job for it. There's no scope for it. It's not because we don't value it anymore. It's just that it's market. It's not valuable anymore. It's not the market. Because we don't make. Because we don't make it. How would we make it? We don't need it anymore. No one's gonna hire someone to paint a wall. I mean, yeah, that's a lie. To paint a mural, <laughs> they don't even do that. They will. <laughs> they I mean, it, 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 that will happen, but like that's not something right up, that someone that everyone needs. But it's a start. I'm just saying though, what you, it's basically, basically saying is that if you don't have this, uh, if you don't, if you don't see art as like a like a equally on the same level as engineering, mathematics, and science, we're basically telling those people who like this, hey, like what you like, what you do. Is not like a thing at all. It, imagine saying thing to a doctor, "Hey, you have to care for people and help people." Oh, it's uh-huh. not a thing at all. Oh. Like that's an equally saying. Are you in point. favor of socialism? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not in favor of socialism. I'm saying like you guys. That's the idea behind you, socialism. You, it's like saying like you get like profession. No. It's an equal I'm value saying, to society. See, I didn't say everything is a profession. Like I said, like cosmetology is not cool. the same level as an engineer. <laughs> okay. No. I don't agree with the cosmetology as an engineer because he's cutting hair. A cosmetology major exactly. can I go into like an engineering and be like. Hey, I know cosmetology, so I know how you build that building. No, that's not the same thing. It's not, that's not what I'm saying. But You're since... cosmetology. Since... <laughs> since it, our, our art, it kind of has architecture and stuff like that, it could be almost uh, the same. Almost. I'm not saying it could be, but okay, it could like, be a side of it. Like, okay. you use that minor. Could be. You're not, you're not telling people who like art that, you know, art is a dead career. You're telling them, 
you won't get far with this. It, and it's the same thing. thing. It's not <laughs> hard to say. You tell me to get far with this. That means like they can't do it. Okay, like you'll do like, something. No, you just you're telling them far. be aware that we're to be aware. Into. Yeah, but why can't we change it though? Because There's right no, now we don't can't. need art as much. Mm, that's what I'm saying. We don't need it, but right why now, do want why to don't we change that? How do we don't change it now? How do we change it later? Change it when change we're prospering. Want. It's like saying... When we're, when we're not in the brink of a recession. <laughs> it's like saying you know? that, you know how oil is no longer used for lamps? It's like forcing it into society that, again. That, okay, so what's a country that's like, we're doing really well? They say China, right? They're doing really well. No. Okay, well, well maybe, maybe one country that's like doing well. They have no Sweden? debt, they have nothing. Sweden. On paper, maybe. Do you see Sweden? Do you <laughs> see Sweden out here? Okay, no do, you see, do you see Sweden? The artists are out there painting stuff in Europe? No, why? Because there's no, like, there's no value for it. Okay, there you go. Then, then that proves our You're price. right, but the, the way... The, the way... You can force it. We can make it aware. Like, <laughs> we, awareness is what I'm trying to say. That's aware of what? To... Everybody's aware that you're not just going to get value from getting a... People who degree. have art degrees know that it won't get you far. People who have art degrees <laughs> but they have more like schooling don't know it because they didn't have a passion for it. The passion was for something else. Okay, for, you go to college for a job. For tools, not for a passion or a hobby. Well, some, what if your some passion is that? Hobby? Passion. Yeah, what if well, your passion is that? That will be a, 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 a mutual thing. People who go for passion, passion are the ones who go for the art. And they, yeah, or not just art, but other stuff like that. And besides, some like art, art, art stuff, you, don't, or you or don't learn in a classroom. You learn it by practicing your, on your own. Engineering, you know, they're also in a classroom. You got to go home and figure out things, too. I mean, there's, but there's a structure to it. There's there's an art has a structure to it, too. There's no, uh, they yeah. all are because some artists prefer to have their own voice. It, art okay, is I mean, about. But you take all of that and what about abstract paintings? That doesn't have any structure to it. No, it's just <laughs> you, No, but that's and, not all of art. That's one no, part like, of it. The point of art is so you express something the, unique. The yeah. thing with art, you though, can't it's do so that vague. in the classrooms. So and what? It's so vague. Like anything can be art. Yeah. Yeah. So you can like teach something that is vague, that is anything supposed can be to be unique. Exactly. And then can be art. Expressive. And then can be a building. Yeah, so like... No, but like, you, there's, some, mean, there's some like abstract definition stuff like No, that's the thing though. But the hard art but the is basics, like sculpture, but, uh, painting, but the basics, uh, dance. But if you look at certain paintings throughout the era, like certain things like cubism, there's always going to be a cube. There's a structure to it. You know that this type of paintings or these type of things always going to be But how it came to be. Huh? Uh, some guy uh, diverged from the trend that was... At the time. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 From Someone that used to make arches made a square arch. That's not the same as the trend. They made a they made a, a dome. They made a dome flat. It could be different other you know times. Why they made the dome. I'm saying the dome could have been changed. It could have been even more like my dome, but a cone. Why did they make a dome to a cone? They didn't have a, they That's an individualism it, thing. But they changed it though. Like I said, you see, you said the things that you say could be also applied to certain things. Okay, trends can be incorporated into the classroom, but the classroom cannot create trends. Okay, so Stan and Steam. <laughs> uh, final thoughts, guys. <laughs> I think art should be counted into that category. I don't think so. Stan. Oh, what is that? Oh, Two yeah. to one. Okay, so that topic is now gone. What is the next topic we were talking about? Embarrassing stories. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, what was uh, the other one? We're talking about that after. Stan and Steam. <laughs> Story. I never yeah. voted, so it's two to one. So. Okay, what do you think? Stam or Steam? Yeah. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> Undecided. I don't think it matters because it splits up. There's Steam. Doesn't. Because Steam, but not now. Okay. So I'm with y'all. Stam. And I think the artist, the A in all of that, it's implied when you go into engineering and scientific stuff so like this. Yeah. Some point. Okay. It's a hidden A. It's a silent A. Yeah. <laughs> so even if we did make it STEAM, no, it I'm still jump. would be STEM. Alright, so embarrassing stories. Man. So I get this letter to... The... <laughs> I mean, I have some, like, personal, or should we just do, like, things that we know? I mean, I got some good personal ones. Huh? The guy that killed oh, my yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is, this is not as funny you might think it is, but this one time has actually <laughs> happened to me. Um, I was, I was a long time, it's been a while back, but a long time ago, uh, it was me and my family went to a restaurant and we were, I was really young and we were eating this meal and, uh, I got the extra, the dessert thing, which is like a chocolate shake or something like that. And, uh, after we ate the meal, I ate it. It was like, a, it was big. I know, I knew I shouldn't have had it. It was pretty big for me, but I was like, no, I wanted it. 
So I drank the whole shake. And, and you had a chocolate shake afterwards in the restroom. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, you know, you're almost there. But here's the, here's the thing for it. We would go on the way going to a department store, going shopping and stuff like that. And as we're like going there, uh, I would get to the parking lot. And all of a sudden, I had to like release some gas. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, oh man, I'll just do this and you know, it'll be fine. You know, you know, it'll be all right. I released some gas, and more than gas came out. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and the first thing I say, I thought I thought it was all right, but then I certainly, like, like moved around my seat, and I realized... Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I expected more. More than came out than I expected. So then I told uh, my folks, hey, just want to let you know. <laughs> I, I kind of crapped myself. <laughs> and so I was a kid at the time, and... The thing is, we the department store is sold clothes and stuff like that, so our only option was to run in there. So you can imagine how it was, a little kid with me, running with like cocky cocky pants with a stain, running into a department store just for the nearest restroom to clean myself up. You know, people are like, like looking at me like, what's going on? The kid's running full speed. <laughs> and like, as I'm going, I'm grabbing clothes. That I'm gonna change in on the way, you know. <laughs> like I'm gonna buy it anyway. Might That's as well. <laughs> right. So then, as I go to the restroom, I clean myself up, get the new clothes that I bought, and I'm walking out. You know, still the tag. You know, I'll the tag on me. Walking out, just going back to the car. And I was like embarrassed, so embarrassed that this happened. But what's funny to me is, as I as I'm leaving, I think about the restroom that the janitor was to clean the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine his face when he checks out the trash can like who the hell just threw all the clothes away <laughs> into the trash can I've had someone in when I used to work at this restaurant someone left their clothes in the trash like that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen seen first time how that is makes you wonder you get the whole body in the back too <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's what happened to me one time. I've had a similar experience like that, but in my own comfort of my own home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, trying to fart in my brother's face. <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and it was going to be funny. He was just like busy on, on his computer or something. How's that funny? And I tried to fart in his face. <laughs> and I turned around to do it. So you basically <laughs> took a shit in my brother. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> it was on the couch, and I was out on on the side of the couch, and I go, <laughs> but it shoots out. <laughs> like, like I felt it hit my pants, like boom. It was a little round turd, and I was like, oh god! And I just hauled ass to the restroom, and I come back. I just, I just crap myself. He was like, what? My question is, did he feel the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Oh my god. It was such intensity. Could, like, be, could be a pink eye, my goodness. <laughs> it was like a nerf, nerf gun shot. <laughs> nerf or nothing. Uh, <laughs> do you have any embarrassing uh, stories, Rick? Uh, no, not really. No, he did not. Um, try to avoid that. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's okay. It's a safe space. <laughs> um, it's embarrassing to me, but not to the general public. What is it? stuff go ahead no comments <laughs> i mean is this is nothing now we're reaching our second segment where <laughs> it's, I got story. it's short. uh emotional therapy <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's i mean it's embarrassing yes but if you don't like laugh at these things and think about how like you know if you don't like enjoy it then it just haunts you as a bad experience. You're going to enjoy shitting your pants? <laughs> I honest? enjoy reminiscing of the time I shit in my pants. It's a good laugh, you know? I mean, yeah, it's bad, but, you know, it's a good laugh. You think about it one day, but like, damn, that was funny. It was bad, but funny. I guess. Hey, all comedy is good comedy. <laughs> Even if it's shitty comedy. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing nowadays. People are like, if it's like things that we do now, if you tell us, like kids, I feel like kids nowadays, if you tell them the same story, but like, yeah, bro, it happened like last day, like oh. last week. It's cool with them. Like for us, it's embarrassing. For the kids, like yeah, yeah. that's me every other day. Like regardless <laughs> of the fact that the way they are, they're way more accepting. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Can you imagine like what we like back in the day? If you say someone did something like back in the day, oh did you do that, bro? Like no, that's like not allowed. Now kids are like, yeah, man, that's all the time. Like, yeah, that's why. Yeah, they're way more accepting now. And they Which, but is that a good thing? 
Uh, it has its pros and cons. Yeah. Always... What? Like, the new new generation being more accepting of things. Because some things they accept it just for the sake of being something different. They don't really measure the consequences of that. I feel like sometimes they just rush into acceptance or whatever without really analyzing the thing. Do you think that's because, like... When they saw our generation, that's like, oh, something happens, we criticize, we criticize, criticize. Because this, there's is it because it's because that they see that like, hey, that's not right. Let's try a new approach. Let's try to be accepting of more things. Do you think it's because like our previous generations did the opposite? Possibly. It's, it's they're always trying to rebel. It's just an extreme, my friend. It's just an extreme. We went, we went from not had having so many permissible things to now having literally everything. Mm. We need, to, we need to go back somewhere to the middle. That's not, that's not gonna happen, you know. Oh no. They're, they're asking for a whole new like revolution type thing, like oh we're changing everything. We're only snowball. Yeah. If it depends, I see it as a good thing because like, like certain things like I was like against or something I didn't believe. Like certain now like I see myself like man I can change my mind a little bit. Not to like the most extreme things, but certain things I used to hold dearly like this is how it is. I change my mind now like hey I can kind of understand the other point of view, you know. I can see it that way, but. We talk about like what furries, and, <laughs> you know, like this is love and this type of love is right, and yeah, I can see there's like an extreme to it. Like homosexuality, but I don't understand why people fear it. Furries, that, that I do. They, they, the way no, they you feel about furries is the way people some. some no, no, that's the thing. Though. No, 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 no. They yes, because whenever we hear homosexuality, we didn't know what it was. We thought it was oh, it's weird. I don't know what it is. It's wrong. I'm scared. Well, that is, that's no, a lie. That's they how knew. People, everyone knows what it is. It's exactly. no, they, they, they knew what it is, but they didn't know why it happened. They didn't know the name so of it. They were afraid of what it was. Yeah, but they were afraid that why is that happening? Why is it like that? Because they think they're going to be gay. Yeah, because like, they don't know how it works. Just they don't understand <laughs> that they people are born like that. Or that's Mis- how they say it. Misinformation and talk hatred. I mean, that's what it is. If you're out. different, you're weird, you're hated. That's how history goes, you know? Hey, that's how. Because the thing is, what was it? In the Roman era, they had orgies when they had parties. Yeah. And the thing is, Define. only the people invited <laughs> to the orgies uh-huh. were men. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Yes, <laughs> only men were allowed. No, no, <laughs> yes. no. No, that's not right. That's what it is. No. So no. it was men on men. You... It wasn't with women. No, no, no. hey, wait, wait, wait. Is that, no. No. That that's made it stronger? No. <laughs> that's the Spartans. That makes me strong. <laughs> that was the Spartans. Those characters were the Spartans. Yeah, that's yeah, the, the Romans. Well, Wait, yeah, they're Greek. Somebody up there in the Europe, here in version Europe, did Ro- it. Spart, uh, the Spartans, not the the Black Sea. That's what we call it. <laughs> Somebody yeah, up the there Romans. in the Macedonian. Because the Romans Roman. were not about that. Were they though? They were very violent. They saw it and were like, "We'll take two things from that." <laughs> <laughs> Less men, more women. <laughs> but I don't know if it was punished, but it wasn't, you know, celebrated. Um. I mean, even today, people are, like, condemning it. It's still groups like there that condemn it, you know, stuff like yeah. that. But this is how it is. We live with it, you know. I just don't like... I don't think we should. You think we should enforce it? it. No, like, with people trying to... Enforce their... Yeah. Their agenda? Yeah. And see, that's the thing. We, if we, see, if we protest against well, it, the, uh, we're, we see it as haters. Go, go for what's peaceful, right? Cause that's like, the version of peaceful. But sometimes they, like... If they go... Okay. They debate... If they go in, okay, if they go on a parade down, yeah, down yeah, to, yeah. in downtown, they parade. Is that seen as violent protest? No, no. But whenever they see it, like, oh, this is a pro-, people. Someone else's vision be like, oh, this is it a protest? How do I go to work today? All this stuff is it affecting my life. I hate it. That's how it. That's compared to like American holiday, like July Fourth. It's like I said, it's depending on each individual's view of what they think is right and wrong. You know. I understand what you're saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm just saying, no, like, no. I get what you're saying, but I'm saying, like, it's like, it's every person's, like, opinion. If you're really, really religious, not religious, or just, like, you just hate people in general, you know? Everybody has their one single reason. Or they follow other people's reasons. That's why you have influencers as a term nowadays. Okay, okay, I want to go back. Um, Two. You said all comedy is good comedy. Oh, but no. nowadays, <laughs> comedy can be reprehensible. Y- yes. And you said... And some comedians are influencers. Mm-hmm. So it all wraps up. Should comedy be reprehensible? It's just comedy. Well, uh, I don't think it should be reprehensible. You're just trying to make people laugh. Because, like, okay. And it's not at someone's expense. It's just pointing out facts. I, I, yes. I, I but, that, 
But you see, what comedy does, sometimes it changes like a bad situation to a good situation, sometimes. But like the question is, is everybody has their own type of humor. There's dark humor, regular humor, slapstick comedy, you know, like political satire. There's so many types. Yeah, I don't think this, the whole, um, I don't want to say movement, but like overreaction that we're getting now, like towards comedians because they say something offensive or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's new to our generation. It's just that it's more exposed because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure eight, uh, 50 years from, uh, back in the past people still got offended they mm -hmm. still probably in, you know went up stage and confronted the guy but since we're living in, uh, in a in a society where everything is seen and you can publish it to millions mm -hmm. and like share it with millions of people it seems as it's more like it's a new thing or like it's going crazy but I think it's always been like that it's just that it's mostly more exposed right, right but it's the people deciding if, okay you can post on social media yes but at the end of the day something can be posted people look at it and be like oh yeah it's a video but then it's what people's reactions to it people who feel strongly about that issue they don't go against it so I'll give you an example if something makes a, if, okay, if something makes a let's say there's a video somebody's a gay joke out of that audience maybe 10 people laugh but the, oh like 10 people don't say anything but that one person in the back laughs is he wrong to laugh at that joke because he likes that type of comedy? Or is it like just the people's fault for not Sadly, laughing? he's homophobic. Right, he's the, he's a bad guy. And then if that video gets posted, who, what do the comments say? Half of it says, that's a funny joke. This guy says, laughed, you hate gay people. Else did. Yeah, most of yeah. them. Are and then gay rights activists and all that come into play. Most, it comes to issue. Most of them are not even offended. They just ban. <laughs> right, so the question it's, is, is you say post it. Yeah, post it. There's nothing wrong, but it's people's reacting to it. it don't. It's, there's no need for it to be a bigger issue, which happens because people see Social media. I just think someone wants to be a hero. And everybody else saying, jumps on yeah, that train. The, I want to be anyway. someone who took down a bad guy. That's the trend. Like when a YouTuber messes up and like everybody like dwells up and starts up subscribing or whatever. Or like watches like the <laughs> countdown. You know what I mean? Yeah. Relevant. Yeah, so <laughs> I think that's part of it. Not because they actu they're actually offended or feel strongly about it. It's just that it's everybody's doing but it. It's so not just that well too. Uh, YouTube itself is doing demonetization. Demonetization? Right. Well, they yeah, like, demonetization. Sorry, yeah. So whenever like you say something inappropriate or something offensive or just curse in general, you, know what I hate you about get money for, that, money for that video. So that's another form. That's another form of, so like, it's, like I said, somebody's a comment of, oh, that funny gay joke. No, you, YouTube might say that's offensive, you don't get money for this video. But yeah, there's people living. But with YouTube, it's also, I think, from what I've heard and watched from other people is it's also favoritism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they choose who they think is gonna be popular. Right, who and they that, like that creates they... an that creates an echo chamber because now you're they segregate people into their little camps because when you keep watching YouTube, they start like recommending relevant stuff and whatever. Mm -hmm. So you know, after a couple of videos, you're already in that little bubble, just like getting media from a specific side uh, point of view, and you keep like you know consuming that and forming your own opinion based on what you're watching mm -hmm. and you never get to see the other point of view so you're you are you're like becoming more biased mm -hmm. because of youtube and uh favoritism or whatever you want to call it bad stuff mm -hmm. yeah because you keep seeing what you want to see and that keeps coming in and in and in so you become more biased mm -hmm. it's all very issue. messy and you know why? It's because of Google. <laughs> it's not just Google. It's nah, people yeah. that are watching these no, videos. It's it's it, no, it's because... It's people's ignorance. They, no, they don't, they don't do it. Uh, these companies, they don't do it on purpose to, like, separate people. They do it because it's convenient for them in terms of, like, ad revenue and stuff. Because if you know, how, like, how a person thinks, it's easier to show them ads that they might like. So that's why they, like, analyze our data, blah, blah, blah. It's just... So they can show us what we want to see, but at the same time, it's kind of uh, affecting us because it's making us more uh, biased and uh, intolerant from the point of view. So. I saw this post on uh, Instagram that said that they that that company Instagram can use your data. Oh, yeah, and they changed whatever the, uh, the terms and services. They can use whatever you your, post, or what your, your post, personal your messages, direct messages. They own everything. They have. Yeah, every time every time you but get on an app like that, they ask you, well, "Do we have permission to look at your yeah. media, photos, messages, and everything?" Yeah, yeah, but it was never messages. Now it's also messages. Yeah, they can, they because see that the reason why is <laughs> you people, give them permission to me, do wait, that. People that want to use Facebook so Private bad messages. and that have that addiction will say yes. Oh, okay. 
I mean, even if they don't, even if they don't do it, it's still data mining. People are still gonna find a third party and like get the information and then send it back. Yeah, because because you know? ads are important. Yeah, that's the a good example. Uh, seeing the, it is whenever I go shopping. Free app. Yeah. <laughs> Because you go shopping, let's say you go shopping right now. You go to like any type of like food store. You buy like some apples, or like a crap ton of apples. The next uh, next week, you get a, uh, some coupons in the mail saying, "Here, Gala apples." Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, but it then like let's say let's say that, for like, example, you go look up something like some type of like yeah, if you're looking at something private like. Oh, like Planned Parenthood type thing, and then the next day you get a mail from Planned Parenthood saying <laughs> that, that one story. Problem. Whoa, that's a very specific. <laughs> <laughs> but but, the, but <laughs> the concept's still the same though. Yeah, there's Google a story. can sell their information. Uh, the the uh, teenager that oh, oh, target oh, predicted pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. no, no there's a story about Facebook, and apparently they were oh, never mind. their algorithm got so good that it recommended. So there is a guy he was just searching through things, and he was gay, but he had to come out to you know his family and stuff. Um, he was going through a web page and stuff, you know, I guess, you know, it's about gay stuff, I guess, I don't know. That sounds very <laughs> homophobic, though. Just some stuff he liked. Yes, that pertained to the culture, I guess. Yes. Um, and then Facebook ended up recommending things to him, you know, that were about the gay culture. And he was outed by that. How? Because the algorithm managed to okay, put together. Okay, how was he outed? Oh, it recommended to him. And, uh, okay, so. Okay. No, no, continue. It's because I, I have another story similar to that for, uh, based on Target. So. Uh, well, the point is Thanks that, for outing that company. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the point was that um, Facebook, Facebook's <laughs> algorithm managed to figure out that he was gay, even mm-hmm. though he had never posted anything, said anything. Okay, but that doesn't. You just get. Sometimes you just get <clears throat> ads for no reason. Yeah. Like, that doesn't out you. That's just putting context blue. But no, the saying means like, oh, we already thought he was gay. But this, he's, this well, but what he's saying that, is that's that, not how that right, works. an ad comes up, but if it's multiple ads at the same time at a frequent frequency, then yeah, it's like, bro, this is a lot. And, like. Anyways, there's a story about Target. I don't know how old this is, but uh, Target was doing a lot of data mining just so they could like um, know their customers better, like their shopping habits and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm paraphrasing here, but like. One um, dad, or like one family received like, uh, I don't know if it's like ads, like you know how you get like Mm -hmm. the booklet Mm -hmm. with ads? Mm -hmm. Relating to like, um, you know, baby stuff, like pregnancy stuff, diapers, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, they had a teenage daughter in their household, so the dad got mad and went to Target or whatever, and they, uh, he was mad at them because they were were uh, giving them... um, baby related stuff and oh yeah God. yeah so that happened and like later on months later the guy came back and apologized because apparently target managed to predict that she was pregnant before they even knew so based on her purchasing habits and like how she behaved that's a good thing right, right but like i'm just saying that's how how, how much you can <laughs> know from a person just by like sh- like knowing their shopping habits and like what yeah. they tend to look at and stuff and mm-hmm. they and they managed to recommend products that are more relevant to her lifestyle yeah like i don't mind about this data mining crap because you should only be afraid of that if you're doing a bad thing (laughs) oh please no don't look at my direct messages right but it's not okay you're doing a bad thing you're scared okay but that's you but it's not always because of that it's also because what i told you about the the echo chambers because if you keep getting stuff that you want to see it will affect you negatively in based of. I can what do you mean? I can know things actually, that you want to see. I can say you want to see the other side. It applies I, a lot with politics. If you get fed, not, poli- not just politics, including it, it, like uh, it applies a lot with politics. I'm not touching politics. Go. Well, no, because because brands too. Just brands we just got on here. I'm not touching it. Go. No wait, because like here's the thing. Jesus. If you get fed only Republican news media outlets. You're going to become more Republican. If you get fed to liberal news media outlets, you're going to become more liberal. So you don't no. get to see the That's other just side. an assumption. No, it's true. That's no, just an assumption. There's studies on this where you become more biased. I mean, I can see that like, if you only have one thing there, like if you only have oranges, you, you believe oranges. And, and, and the, the community, community apples, you the comments. comments. Yeah, I can see that. And the community, the comments, and everything that. agree with each other. So yes. you're like feeding into, oh, everybody thinks the same. Because it's right. But here's... Because that argument is right. Not if you... If, if you're intellectually 
involved in the argument, you take both sides into well, account. Well, that everybody does that because you keep getting jumps. information from one point. Okay, but that's not their fault. That's you have, your fault. You have to actively seek yes, but, other means. But it doesn't make it... Because if you search something on YouTube, <laughs> you're going to get results based on what your uh, preferences are. Okay, you're that's what you want to see, though. Yeah, but it's not... What is that's, that's fair? The whole it's not fair. It's, it's it is fair because that's what you want to see. But I don't want to see correct. the other side. I never wanted to see the other side. That's that's that's, that's exactly. That's, that's so you're you gonna have a misinformed, uh, a biased information coming to you because okay. you never get to see the other okay, side. Okay, but that's the user's fault, not the you people just who are giving you, just, you the data. You just said that you're gonna get what you want. You want to get. Yeah, the people who are searching for what they want to get. No, 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 not like that. For example, if you search. I don't even know what you would search, but like you, the art, the algorithms of YouTube or whatever search engine you use, it's gonna feed you based on your previous um, interests and stuff. So not it's, recently, not as of recently, because everything on YouTube is random at this point. Because I, I, I see my feed every single day. I always like analyze like oh, what am I getting today? Maybe because it's always you act- some random crap. Maybe you actively seek different opinions, but for the most case, you always see what. Like, your side of the, the the fence. Don't you agree? It's not like that anymore. The algorithm's different. But here's my no. thing on it. Uh, like, to your argument about data mining, I do see it as a negative thing. Because, I'll give you an example. Someone, like you say, some, some guy at his house just, like, gets, like, a disease, right? Now they're doing research on that disease, like, to find out treatments and all that, right? This person goes off a treatment. A family member that doesn't know about this is not supposed to know about this. Ah, that's anything. If it just goes in, to that computer, logs on to look up something, a bunch of ads come up for like all these that's, treatments. All that. That's data mining at its peak right there. And then what do they say? Why is all this coming here? And start asking questions, and then boom, it, it starts something. A very specific. It happens though. Hashtag no, target. It's ridiculous. Hashtag it's no, because that's how it happens. Because people don't they find out information another way, not the way they want to, okay, but they find so? another way. You're gonna find information if you're snooping around on someone else's device. No, okay. listen, no, it doesn't matter. Even if they use they're using that person's using the it's same like laptop. History. Okay, but you laptop. took that risk. It's like you the person saying, who gave them access I, to that. I know, that but, risk. If, if, but if that wasn't the, if there wasn't a thing, if that data money wasn't a thing, then whenever that person like whenever that person looked at the computer, they wouldn't have found that out. But that you're way. aware a of a person's privacy would have been kept. You're aware data mining exists. That's your fault. And how would they know that but the this, ad was? So what is the person supposed to do? Not search up no, statements like that. What? They're still going to do it. How do they know the ad was recommended to them because they have a disease? It could have been just a random ad. They no, don't know no, for because sure. the way it works is once you see one ad, then I you look at it. That's because your puppy is different for your stuff. No, right? because if I see an ad, I don't automatically assume, oh, this is because of what I searched in the past. So if I see someone else's ad, I don't think they're getting recommended this specific ad because it's built, it, um, it's something that is relevant to them. But you don't think we're but getting you, ads because we're talking about it. <laughs> uh, it's like go from wrong, embarrassing but, stories to... Oh, yeah. Just let it flow. Just let it flow. <laughs> what was the third one? Yeah, that was the first oh, one. Oh, it's college worth it, I think. Oh, is yeah, college yeah, yeah. worth well, we'll it? Again, it, depends. Like, it depends. It's all great. No, no, college is a tool. Mind. Just like not This is the biggest <laughs> argument, and this will never end between me <laughs> and y'all. <laughs> is college no. worth it? Me and people like me and... You agree college. with us. Just because you're... Just because you don't assist. <laughs> what do you mean I agree time. with y'all? Huh? You agree. I believe... <laughs> It's worth it if you believe See? it's worth it. <laughs> well, no, because like you, there's no way you're gonna be a medical doctor without a, a okay, college. but that's that engineering. You, most engineering fields are not gonna you, do that you. I don't think you should pay that much to be an engineer. Okay, I think you do because that's of the di- competition. That's a different topic. That's the price. You, that's not yeah. Yeah. worth it. Well, okay, no, no, no. Well, yeah, it's college it, worth it, its it, price. It informs. Mm. That. I thought it was just. I thought the topic was, is college worth it? Well, okay, what is worth, worth it mean? Worth it, worth it, is it could be ma- value, value monetarily, worth it and value of time, value in, um, I don't know. I thought if it was worth it going uh, to Let's college. go monetary, but um, I'm already monetary? like... It, de- like it, it depends on what you're doing. If you're going to go there and study, yeah, I don't gonna know. Yeah, you're going to go for art. Gender studies. You shouldn't pay no, the same amount of art that you pay for. <laughs> joking, like with, with you. But I don't see any paintings in your no. house. <laughs> well, like, okay, certain... like with U of H. What if you're in U of H and four? You're paying the same amount of tuition that someone else is paying uh, as, as an engineer. My thing is you this. shouldn't be. My thing is this. Back in the day, it used to be that if you couldn't afford a college, you didn't want to go to college. You didn't like college because you didn't have the opportunity to go. 
but it's nowadays really people glorified. people that could go or they try to try to go they don't want to go because they believe in this new concept of I'm gonna take a year off and then boom they don't come <laughs> back or they just go in entrepreneur. That's not, that's, but that's not always sell one thing though. on eBay because you need money to, <laughs> you need money to become entrepreneur. No one can just run up on some money like that unless you get like the jackpot or something. But nowadays, kids like who have a parents that support them are thinking, oh yeah, I can easily go. You don't know what you want to do. Like you're off. You shouldn't go to college. I think what it is is no one nowadays wants to work for no one. <laughs> See, dude, what it don't I, matter though because you always work for somebody. Wants to work for themselves. We, at the end of the day, we all work for the government because all our money and um, everything goes for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, that's yeah. Society, that's okay, a, I'm not talking about that. Yeah, <laughs> that whole, not like, touching that. You know, but like, I'm saying. Just because you drop out doesn't increase your chances of being successful and like an no, it doesn't mean that. Like that. But some people literally think that oh, because I'm not going to college, I'm somehow in you know uh-huh. along with Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and all those. Oh people. no no no, those people. That's a funny thing. There, I always there's hear, some people that yeah, think yeah, that. Yeah, I right? always hear those quotes. Oh, co- Steve Jobs didn't go to college. Oh, you know, Bill yeah. Gates didn't go to college. Yeah. No, they got into college. And they then, found out. That. Then they dropped out. And yeah. even if they didn't go to college, they were building something that was like they a They were doing something before. productive. Yeah, they knew how, they were making something. Are you making something like that? The next revolutionary thing? Yeah. No. So then you're not going to make it. That's just how it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the people saying, oh, they don't have a college. I don't need to go. Yeah. Do you have something in mind? Do you have an idea? No, no, no. Dropping now is not synonymous with like... <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to be the next Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah, there's some, because there's some people that drop out of college because they didn't afford it or some type of reason, but then they have to do some other business and being successful. There are plenty of billion, you know. millionaires and billionaires that had college degrees or that people that own companies. Yeah, that because that's money. because they went back with when they had all that money. Yeah. No, but that, not, no, I'm saying just because you drop out well, doesn't push you on one side of, you know, along with this group of dropouts, like successful dropouts. A lot of billionaires didn't go to school first. Main one. Because of the family, <laughs> they didn't have to go. A good example was like the original, um, uh, what do you call Papa's. it? Rockefeller, Mandel, Jamie Ro- Morgan. Rockefeller, what, dude, that's like a whole different thing. Cause I'm not going to say, but, just, but no, I'm saying, yeah, and these kids they probably didn't have to go to college. Why? Because they had that lifetime supply going on with them. There's always family inheritance as an option. The queen. Queen and all the kids and all that. Did they think? I mean, a lot of those millions you're talking about, they didn't go to college. They had, they received some kind of and inheritance, or well, they they took over the family business there, or something. Yeah. yeah. So. And that's the majority, the majority kid. of the millionaires and billionaires. Because they yeah. inherit so you, stuff. you think the CEO of McDonald's son probably went to college? He probably did, but he probably don't need to because he has plenty of money from this version from father. All I'm saying is like, just stop with the idea that dropping out was gonna make you like. Unless you unless you know you have that next revolutionary thing, yeah, or the new computer or the and new that's, software, and that's separate from whether you go to college or not, because you yeah. can use college to like improve it, yeah, or to meet people, mm-hmm. to network and stuff. Mm-hmm. You don't need college; it's just a tool. You it don't is need, a tool. You, you don't, don't need, need to use it. No, I know, but there's also it's not bad. Okay, then no, don't pressure people. I don't know what is pressure. Yeah. There's plenty yeah, of pressure. You get a job nowadays. You can't just ask from themselves. Them not from that's other people. Oh, right. No, because that's, that's recommendation. Right. All right, you guys. Is there pressure to go to college for everyone? Yes. yes. No. Yes. You, then why did you just say there isn't? Like socially or like money? Because financially? Socially. No. Socially? I don't yes. think so. Socially, socially no. there's no pressure. I feel like socially, it's no. kind of it's kind of dropped. Yeah. Yeah, people go. are pretty okay. Like, back in the yes, a while, like two years back maybe, but nowadays it's like, oh, you don't need to do that. You can just work for this company. Like financially, the, there is a big pressure because if you look at any job, yeah, person, cost of, of living time, now is going like up. Good, yeah. Like good, good jobs and stuff. Yeah, because food prices are like going up. You need a job to survive, or better job to survive than the average job, blue collar job. Yes, doesn't mean you can still survive, but it's barely. Do you want to live a better standard of stability? Then yeah, you want to make a better job. So and tools hard. is not going to have any tools. Uh, college is not going <laughs> to solve your. Your life, like going to college, it gives you a step it's to. It's not like, a for sure thing. That's what I am not calling. It's not, but majority of people take it because they can come someone to help them there. It's to a get tool. There. Yeah. If you don't use it right. Exactly. You're but there's nothing wrong of, with using. Well, I mean, use it right. You just study. You know, focus on things like, study hard. Just don't mess up. Yeah. You know, that hard. Yeah. You know. Especially with the. Fun- the majority of the kids that hold on, majority of the kids that drop out, like I give you an example, those people that I know now that they said they're gonna go study hard and do that, the minute they get to college, they go for another lifestyle, the partying lifestyle, aka like all those be college, they party, oh, then they lose focus on what they want to do, then they drop out. They're like, hey man, what happened? Oh yeah, I want to do this, but this got me. There's always some type of thing. Or maybe like they got in trouble. They got killed somebody. There's a lot of that nowadays. Yeah. 
I know three people like that right now that wanted to go for something, didn't get to go that, and now look at them now. They're not getting what they originally wanted. It's like because you know? they they say that it's because they blame college for it, but yeah. they don't blame their own it's self. Yourself. It's your yeah. yeah it's yeah. your decision. You, you found the temptations. You know, screw you. It's what you do with it. Yeah. Yes, you. If you if you don't enjoy college, you can you can you. I believe you can still enjoy college like half and half of it if you do it properly. But those people out there that they think, oh, I gotta study so hard and now I have friends and don't want any games or anything, just study hard and get a life, and I, then I can only succeed. No, there's a healthy balance of both. Yep, I believe in that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just nowadays like okay, so I give you example. I like I knew, like I come from like a immigrant parent background. The all, their option was only college was the number one because they didn't have that education. They came here seeing everybody else getting it, realizing that is number one. And that is what's been instilled in me and the future maybe, generations for me. Maybe the problem Compared to American is, uh... parents, American parents, you know, it's probably not the same. It's a little more different because they went to college. They had a different experience. They're thinking, oh, yeah, you can enjoy it. You can it's, do it. No, you not, know? not everyone. No. It's like you can do sports. You can do this. Really you can do clubs. And then it changes. It's that difference. That's what you see I, in the data-wise why certain, like, Groups of people are more successful, or they become like doctors and engineers, like that, yeah. because of those type of things. It's good. It's also from their background, how they raised, how they educate, like that. It is in a way. Maybe it's because we generalize college as like one thing. Because within college, there's like a very diverse path that you can take. You can go. Some people go to medical school, which is very different from like a two-year associate's degree. So, mm-hmm. calling college like, um, in. In closing medicine and like what was the community college or yeah. whatever into one label like college it's gonna confuse people because some people might say oh just because I'm going to college I'm in the same level as med- uh, medical doctors or whatever so college no. needs to be break- broken down into like more spe- like more specific yeah. paths that's why you have degrees no 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 not that not in terms of that I mean like pathways because some people are going there for like a trade like community college or those two-year uh, associate's degree that you can get, or just a standard bachelor's degree, or like go into medicine or like something more advanced. Does that make sense? I probably doesn't make sense. No, I'm sure you're saying no, it's it just, kind of makes sense, yeah. It's just, like I said, it <laughs> lost me. Because yeah, some people associate college, like it's a whole, like medicine, all of them together. So if somebody success, succeeds in as a doctor or whatever, it gets translated to, to the other fields. Mm-hmm. And so people see, oh, college, is that doctor's success was because college is going to somehow improve your life. Mm-hmm. Or vice versa. People, they go to college and drop out, they don't do good. They get, they associate also like other people mm-hmm. in like advanced fields with them. So they see college negatively. I feel like they see college and college negatively because... Of the people they don't want to go to college in the first place and they complain about it. <laughs> no, because... <I'm> <laughs> Because they hear their, they only hear what the other people that didn't like college want to say. They're not gonna listen to the people they graduated or whatever because they're in the same. They want to hear from their, from their, um, from somebody that's been through the same thing. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna listen to the dropouts or the the ones that didn't like, even apply to college. But they're not hearing the dropouts that actually did well. They but those didn't yeah. at all. Oh, they're listening to yeah the dropouts that did good. Those are the where they're getting their information. But both sides will always say, it's always, in the end, it's always your decision. <laughs> right. right. Or they will promote their path. Like, if you talk to a doctor, they're going to like tell you college is worth it or whatever. But that's just like a natural thing, <laughs> exactly. thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, that's <laughs> <just> cool. <laughs> we don't like what I do. They need to hear both sides and make a decision for themselves. They cannot just money. be like listening <laughs> to, oh, the dropout or the, the doctor. They need to hear from both sides. Statistically, we do need more doctors. We do. We need, need every. We need. We need everything. We need. Mecha- yeah. We need everything from uh, people who pick up mm-hmm. trash to people who are doctors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need everything. That's why yeah. college is not for everyone because some people don't need to be in the like the. But here's the thing, though. When's the last time you hear someone like you talk to? Hey, man, I really want to be a garbage man. Like a garbage man. No There's one nothing says that. wrong with it. No, nothing wrong, but no one, no one, whoa, no one do want, I, I mean, not that I don't, no one wakes up next day and be like, you know what, I want to do that for a living. I feel like everybody uh, has like a really high goal or a medium goal or just want to be a good person. Then they, they go look at the past. Well, the way I see or, it. Or mechanic. No one says, I don't, higher, I don't see like cars. The higher you go and like how advanced your, your education is, the more it uh, takes over your life. Like for people that are like studying really hard and like becoming doctors, that's a large portion of their lives. While if people that drop out and stuff like that, their job is not as as big or as important to them. They have other stuff that they want to do. 
So it depends. If you you're like here as working as like I don't know. What a, one? Like uh, no, like I don't know. Give me a, a low Thanks. skill job. Like anything. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you that's not your you Good don't. Job. Yeah, it's not a, your job is not as important. You have something else to worry about. While if you're a, uh, an engineer, a your job is, is important. But it's not as important as as the job of a doctor or an engineer because okay, that takes if way you have more. None of us doing that job. What do you mean? If so none yeah. of these grocery so, bags. Yeah, if you no one, if you have no one to like check you out as a cashier, every yeah. doctor, no one's gonna check your check your thing out. And then what I'm thinking <laughs> is, <laughs> okay, all these grocery self check out. If, uh, if, if these stalkers, if and these yeah. baggers don't whoa, exist, whoa, whoa, I don't know. Hold on. What if, <laughs> it, it, like low class workers, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> low skill. You, yeah. Okay. Oh. Low class. class. <laughs> What's the... okay. Low skill. Low okay. skill. Let's let's yeah. let's not. Let's... I wouldn't say it requires less skill. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> For what? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm saying if if these if stalkers, <laughs> grocery stalkers, and grocery baggers and grocery checkout people didn't exist, or just they all quit. All of the people with degrees would just make machines to take their job. Okay, or <laughs> or they'll sacrifice their thing and do that job also. It's well, also that. I want to talk about technology brutal. next time we get. We well, see. Okay. See, well, that, I don't think it would happen that quick. <laughs> okay, well, minus it, that. It will not. But yeah. It'll take time for that. Okay. There's well, still service. I mean, how long did it take us to get like automated like people, automated uh, ordering uh, computers at McDonald's? It took us um, a long time. It took like a day. <laughs> Oh no, I'm talking about like getting that tech- in there. No, no, to take no. <laughs> get, 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 get that technology it's and they wasn't you can feel comfortable using Touch it. No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's why they still have those people there. Oh, do you want to take your order here? Or do you some people like it. Real person? Some people like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they give you. It that eliminates and it's like, hospitality. And for those who are like don't like to talk or social introvert, introverts, I think. Yeah. yeah. They don't like talking people. It helps them out too. Mm-hmm. Now here's my next thing I would say. Do you believe that there's still a class system? Uh, going on. What happened to college? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, 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 no. This college yeah. debate has been going on for a while. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it will forever go on. I don't know, but let's like try to get something another topic in. I mean, okay. this also Bottom relates line, to college. Let's close up the college stuff. Bottom line, it's your decision. College is bad if you use it badly, or like your education badly, and if it, it's good if you use it correctly, or okay. whatever. Is yeah. that good? Yeah, okay. it's, okay, okay. it's a tool. Not a career. Not a conclusion. With that, I want to <laughs> conclude. Anything better, you barely speak. I want to conclude with that. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> At the very end. Just leave it on a. Yes. No, you just on a medium it note. Cut my conclusion as you have a conclusion. No, no, that works. No, too. that was college. That's what works. Second Just a disclaimer: we don't know what we're talking about. I mean, this is all opinions, yes, yeah. but this is what from our like from our generation or we from what we were raised and born. This is our like from what we know. This is what we believe in. Uh, it could be different. It changes over the years, but this is what we had to say. Mm-hmm. That's a great conclusion, right there. Uh, but yeah, that like that concludes our our podcast. Wow, we talked a lot about what a lot of controversial topics, but I mean, that's what people need nowadays. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that's it. I don't know what you. What else you got to say? Ah, oh, nothing to say, man. Um, I'm, I'm, have I'm, a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see Thanks you on the next one. Thank you for listening. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Suck up. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>